Hi, I'm Travis with Pacific Outfitters in Eureka. I'm one of the new young guns here at Pacific Outfitters. I've been here for about two years. I love waterfowl, I love hunting in general. It's been in my blood since day one. Um, right here in front of us, we got a variety of waterfowl calls from duck calls ranging up to goose flutes and the short reed goose calls. I'm gonna go over a couple of basics with you today. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the differences between these calls and then also the varieties and the kind of the standards that they have today um, from the very basics to some of the more advanced. Two things you have to worry about when purchasing a waterfowl call is your uses and how far you want to reach out there. With the duck calls, you got your wood calls and your polycarbonates and then also your acrylics. Your wood calls are going to be more ducky or more goosey. Your polycarbonates are going to be a lot louder, easy to blow. Um, and then the acrylics, you can get a lot more variety of sounds, different tones, different moans. Kind of really opens up the wide full spectrum of sounds for the goose. Uh, First, and also you got to think of double reed and single reed. Double reeds can be a little bit easier, you get more tones out of them. Single reeds can definitely be a lot easier, but they're not as lifelike. And it also depends on how advanced or intermediate or beginner you are. When first picking a duck call, depending on if you're a beginner or intermediate, a good choice always to start out with is either any of the buck gardeners. Uh, we have the two shots, uh, we have the spit techs, tons of different varieties. A very easy one of my favorites is actually the Spit Tex. And it's either the Two Shot or the Magic Mallard. And my assistant here, Tom, will gladly like to show a couple of these calls off real quick. Come over here and try a couple of them. <laughs> this call that we have here, this is the Spit Tech. That's the Spit Tech. If you're just learning, you learn with just a single quack. Kind of a. <laughs> And as you get better, you can start putting those closer together. <laughs> Still individual clacks, but yeah, they're, they're easy to blow. These Buck Gardener calls, probably the easiest on the market. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. Actually, Buck Gardener does a little hutchy. That's our best solution call for the area, too. That, too. Give you one of those. <laughs> You can get a lot of sounds out of this call, though. Mm -hmm. There's their honker version. Actually, this is a loudmouth call. Very easy to blow a lot of sounds out of those, but for a beginner, those are the three calls I'd be looking at. The hutchy and the small one, or the loudmouth for the honkers. Or down to one of the spit, any of the butt gardener duck calls are going to be easy to blow and sound good. Very simple. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Uh, one of my personal favorites, myself, uh, is my own personal call here. Um, these are quack heads. And for me, Very simple, a lot of rasp to it, so you get those very ducky sounds. This here is the, uh, the Quackhead Mallard. One of my favorite calls. Mine's all nice and broke in already. It takes, sometimes it takes a little while for the reeds to kind of wear in, kind of warm up. Uh, but once you get weared in, I mean, they sound great. <laughs> One of my favorite calls of all time. Very simple to blow, very easy to learn. Um, for the little bit more advanced people, you may be looking at either a single reed um, or some other high quality double reeds that can range from very low in price, about $30 all the way up to 150 bucks, depending on what you want to spend. Um, the acrylics are super nice, a uh, little bit more difficult to uh, learn. So if you are a beginner, I would try to stay away from the acrylics till you are ready. It, when you're picking a duck call, cheap and simple is the best way to kind of work yourself in. Um, when, big, when picking a goose call, it's kind of the same thing. You want to look for simplicity. The simpler, the better, at least for beginners. 
the one as Tom was just showing there, a very simple one to use is one of our cut downs that we have here. We have the loud mouth, and then we have our other little cut down right here, and they're very simple. Uh, most of the time when pushing or blowing goose calls, you're not actually blowing air, you're pushing air out of your diaphragm. So with these guys, it's kind of a mix between the two. It kind of allows you to be able to adjust and learn how that kind of feels. <laughs> Very high pitch. It kind of takes a little while to break in, but once it does, you get that nice rasp to it. When you get farther along, the acrylics definitely get a lot more complicated and a lot harder to use. You feel very hard and frustrated because sometimes the reeds don't want to bend how you want them to bend. And, but once you break them in, you can't really beat them. Let's see here. This one's one of my favorites, a Zinc Little Man. Tones are there, very adjustable. The reed's very adjustable. Um, also, this is my actual personal favorite. I personally tuned this one myself. Um, so the reeds are adjustable. Just make sure you make a line or something. Remember where that reed's at because once you move it, sometimes you can never get the same pitch. I actually have this one tuned in for our local species of honkers here. It's a lot deeper, a lot louder, um, and has that really deep kind of goosey sound. <laughs> A lot deeper, a lot more goosier. For the big western honkers, it works every time. If you're an experienced hunter or just a beginner waterfowler, come see us here at Pacific Outfitters in Eureka and Ukiah. We have what you need.